Halo teman-teman, welcome back to Trima China. Teman-teman, kita akan melanjutkan kembali gameplay horror Man of Medan. Episode kemarin kita sudah memainkan Alex dan Julia di mana masuk ke dasar laut untuk melihat bangkai pesawat yang jatuh pada saat perang dunia. Dia mendapatkan dua bangkai, di dalam juga ada bom. Di samping itu di kapal ada Fritz Uh, sebagai pemilik kapal Mereka didatangi oleh tiga orang pemuda Tiga pemuda ini Sangat mencurigakan teman-teman Saya curiga mereka mau merampok Tapi Seperti apa ceritanya kita belum tahu Kita lihat ya uh, Gameplay hari ini Ke arah mana permainannya Karena jalan ceritanya itu Berdasarkan pilihan dari saya Oke okay? Buat teman-teman yang baru join di channel ini, jangan lupa klik tombol subscribe Dan link episode sebelumnya akan ting saya tinggalkan di atas Oke, kita langsung aja ya, let's go Okay, mereka berlima masih di tengah laut ya teman-teman ya. Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? It was a gray reef. Ah. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Conrad gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Okay. Alex, you're like an open book with a 50-point font. I can read you from a mile away. Something's up. It's nothing. I'm oh, fine. bullshit. You're like Monsignor Mopington over here. Julia, are you happy? Well, yeah, of course. Why would you ask me that? I guess I'm just kind of anxious about, like, our future. Dia seperti melihat masa depannya ya teman-teman ya. Optimis. I think we've got a long and happy future together. I do, really. You know, you're pretty much the best thing that ever happened to me. Wow. I love you, Alex. You know where everybody is? I'll go get them. Why don't you just chill out here? Kita lihat relationship-nya teman-teman. Sama Alex semakin tinggi ya. Oke. Okay. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Hmm? Gak ada kah? So, which oh. one is, uh, you know, Ini Conrad suka sama Fliss ya. On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, it's okay. I can deal with children. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Ah, okay, dia mau angkat itu pesawat. Hey.
Ini kameranya ya, dia mau tunjukin kali. Banyak banget fotonya. Eh, Ah, kelamaan. Akhirnya dia pergi ambil. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Yeah. Easy, Tiger. We should get back. Right here. Hey, gak berani minum. Um, excuse me. Careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Not always. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah. It's uh when you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Uh, uh decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Little nitrogen bubbles that get stuck in your bloodstream. Hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something to ease the pain. Julia, I'm telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh, come on. Telling you? Take orders from this guy? Just drink a beer. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll stick to H2O. Don't want to push my luck. All right, everyone. Check it out. Okay. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane is destination. Do you think we can get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. Do you find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage, huh. and it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Wreck this, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, <laughs> hey, tidak setuju ya mereka melakukan no, atau you did mengambil sesuatu whatever di you took, pesawat itu ya. Oh, come on. No one knows we've even been down there. And I don't think ghosts can talk. <laughs> you Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Hmm. 
The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twists. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. So gross. Hmm. Okay, so who did it? The woman says, it was my husband. And she turns to the closet, says, he's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. Oh my god. So gross. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. I think you told it better last time. But good effort. Okay. You've all had your fun? We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> Can ini. Ancaman datang nih. Ush. Ini tiga orang tadi nih yang di pot. Mereka bukan manusia ternyata. Kayaknya tiga orang tadi ini. Yang dicari kontrak dulu nih. Oh, kontrak dibunuh ya. Oh, semua. Wah, ditangkap sih, dirampok ya. Ini si Konrad yang banyak bacot kemarin tuh. Mana sih Brad? Iya ini cowok yang kemarin nih di kapal. bisa ngobong si Brad di mana ya so, yeah. okay? 
so. Wah, mereka datang. Wah, si Chris dibawa, teman-teman. Oke, okay, oke, okay. Julia sudah berhasil lepas. Hey, so uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? Oke, okay, si kontak intip dulu. Si Brad mana ya? Konrad dibunuh nih. Terlalu banyak bacot. Wah, dibunuh Conrad, teman-teman. Slow down. Easy. Fuck you. I'm gonna kill you. Uh, kupingnya dipotong, teman-teman. Masukin lagi ke dalam. Oh, ternyata si Brad nggak ketahuan dia tuh tidur di bawah teman-teman. Bukannya lepasin tangannya ini si Alex? Oh, itu dong. Don't see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take him by surprise. 
Okay, they're coming. Fuck, motherfuckers! Kok ada si kurator itu sih? Hey, hey, are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about her parents. What? Rampok itu mereka, teman-teman. Okay, dia mau pecahkan kaca di saat bunyi petir. Ketahuan. dapat Wah, salah lagi gua pencetnya, teman-teman. Ah, mestinya gua skip tadi. bisa merebut senjatanya ya. Sit down. Over there. You right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez bande de con. C'est mon bateau. Stop. Ferme là ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule. Mereka cari apaan sih? Olsen, come here. Ah, itu semacam informasi harta karun itu ya. Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian do? Badai datang nih teman-teman. Oke, seperti kita akan memainkan Fuis ya. Mudah-mudah bisa merebut senjatanya nih. Just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. 
I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. Hmm, when two you guys, Fliss, yeah. They barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us there up. There I am, so. For the cork in it. Okay. Gak berhasil, gak berhasil. Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy? And there be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-okay out here. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Okay. Talia dia strap update. Tak ada apa-apa. Everything's better when we have each other around. You get that, don't you? kesempatan nih bisa nggak ya oh dia buang botnya Jalan udah tenggelam, semati dah si itu si Brad. Thanks, I guess. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? Brad, it's under the bunk bed. Kencang amat. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Okay, ada peluang kah untuk menyelamatkan diri? Ombaknya semakin besar, teman-teman. Nah, di depan ada kapal apa nih? Oh my god, ini kapal yang dulu tentara Amerika, teman-teman. Tuh, ini yang jatuh ke kapal. Gawat, gawat. still alive things could have been quite different <sighs> Kai
kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Confidant. You're going it alone. Independent. Admirable. Possibly foolish. <laughs> we'll learn soon enough. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Apa tuh? Botol itu ya, minuman keras ya. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have said that. Oke okay, teman-teman sampai di sini dulu untuk episode kali ini kita sudah lihat tadi kapal mereka didatangi oleh tiga perampok yang di episode uh, sebelumnya itu mereka pernah mendekati kapal mereka mereka ditawan kecuali si Brad Brad tidak ketahuan teman-teman karena Brad tidurnya di bawah terus mereka ke bawah ombak karena lagi hujan badai dan kapal mereka mendekati kapal Kapal milik Amerika yang waktu itu isi kapalnya mati semua gara-gara hantu bocah itu. Kita lihat kemungkinan mereka akan naik ke kapal itu dan akan mengalami hal yang sama. Oke okay, teman-teman, buat teman-teman yang suka dengan video ini jangan lupa klik tombol like. Kita ketemu lagi di episode berikutnya. See you dan bye bye.